So today we're at uh, Hook Junior School um, and uh, all this week it's the Shop Foundation Community Awareness Week and we're looking at all the fantastic work that goes on behind the scenes between All the Shop Town Football Club and the Shops Foundation. Today I'm joined by Jamie McAllister. Uh, Jamie is the Shops Foundation uh, Community uh, Coordinator Lead uh, and he has uh, arranged for today. It uh, looks like they're having a great day Jamie. Yeah it's great so we're at one of our holiday camps today so we're over in Hook. We've got about 25 kids of us today. They're currently on a bit of free time after lunch. So yeah, it's been a good day so far. And but I love the fact that the club is not just um, working in Rushmore with schools, but we're further afield in Hampshire. So for instance, we're today in Hook. I know we work in Farnborough and Fleet as well. Um, but there is a difference, isn't there, in the actual holiday camps and the work we do with schools, with after school clubs. So just explain a bit more about the after school clubs. Yeah, so with our after school clubs, they are just after school so it's for an hour we come in once the school day's finished and we just put on a session there so this year we've worked with seven different primary schools so as you touched on ones in Fleet uh, a lot of them are quite central to Aldershot but it is great to be getting out to the other areas as well so those after school clubs are a bit more laid back with a bit more of a focus on getting them active having fun. One of the things I was going to ask back to the holiday camp so if I'm going to come along to a holiday camp mm. um, what would I expect to do because it's, it's quite different than maybe the academy elite courses yeah. isn't it? it's a very it's open for everyone isn't it yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's completely open for everyone as you say and it's, it's much more of a community feel to it so they'll get here so today for example they arrive from 10 uh, once everyone's here we go back inside we we do all the boring stuff on the registers uh, we come back outside we'll do a, one session in the morning for an hour or so so this morning we worked on dribbling um, then we give them a bit of free time before lunch to blow off a bit of steam because some of it's a bit hard work, it's a lot of concentration for them. Then we go inside, have some lunch. Um, as you can see now, we've come outside from lunch and having a bit of time here on their own before we move into a bit of a defending focus this afternoon. And then, you know, we're always finished the day on a bit more of a fun game and we'll probably have a couple of matches going as well before they get picked up. And they don't know it yet, but they've got a special treat tomorrow, haven't they, as yes, well? Yes, they don't know, but tomorrow we'll be joined by Laurent Talage and Josh Stokes. So they're going to pop in, which is brilliant. It's, it's so great to have the players come down as well. And it's such a treat for the kids. And actually, you know, we could have, and, and I, I, it's something I think is really important, it is about tomorrow's supporters. So yeah. down here in Hook, we could be developing our, our next yeah. generation. Exactly. Uh, we spent a couple, we've had a couple of days this week already. So we've been down to Sight Loss Soccer yeah. and we also went to the Vets Hub, which is a day. magnificent occasion. Um, young supporters and future supporters so important. I know we've done a lot of work at the club with the foundation's help on developing the match day experience. You're a local chap too. It feels like you understand the importance of bringing those things together. Yeah, it's great. Like you said, I, I've lived in Aldershot all my life as well. So I went to one of the schools that I'm currently coaching at, which is a bit strange. Um, but it is nice because I remember growing up how important the holiday camps were. And, you know, you get a week off, all you're thinking about is football. And it, it's great to be able to offer something to them especially at a time like half term where they've got which feels like an age off it's great to be able to fill it with the best thing there is which is football for me have it having characters like yourself who's local and understands it and, and our own mark butler uh it just feels that there are people around the club who 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 understand and have that natural connection alongside the other very hard-working people and i feel like the future's pretty bright yeah. um what what are the plans particularly for the future for um developing the holiday camps and the schools program yeah so we always want to expand and we've had such a successful year in working with so many more schools than we had last year for us it's about working with as many people we can as much as we can so it's about getting as many schools so we're looking to hire someone actually um to come and assist us with our schools program so we're looking for coaches to come and assist us in an after school club, but also with a day like today with a holiday camp, because the difference one coach makes to a holiday camp like today is, is ginormous. You know, we can get an extra 10 to 12 kids on per day just by having that extra coach. So by having more people on the team, we can get in more schools, we can work with more children. And yeah, that, that's our plans going forward. So I guess if, you, if you're watching this and you're a qualified coach, um, or you're a school who thinks it would be uh, that you'd enjoy either having an after-school club uh, or a holiday camp, then to get in touch with you yes. at the football club? Yeah, yeah, it'd be great. Get in touch with us at the Shots Foundation. Um, 
we do as much as we can with as many schools as we can, even if it's just something as helping out of a sports day like we do as well in the summertime, get in touch. Great. So tomorrow um, uh, we're out and about again. We're catching up with John Casey uh, to find out more about that match day experience and how that's been developed. And then I think we're finishing off the week with a bit of walking football. Look forward to catching up with you tomorrow.